I've taken a dot and put it right dead center in the center of my turntable right here. I'm going to spin my turntable around and you can see that that dot is pretty much the point where that turntable pivots or the center of a circle that that turntable makes. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dowel and put it between the ninth and the tenth strings on my tennis racket. And there it is, about right there. Okay, now there's that dowel going down through the strings in the center of the racket down to the little dot. And the dot is just to the left of that dowel. So if I look at this tennis racket right here, the dowel is pretty much straight up and down. So this string right here, which is the tenth cross, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth, is the center of my racket. So when I start my uh, crosses, if I'm using a two-piece 50-50 method, this is the center of my racket right here. Okay? This side is the long side. This side is the short side. Okay? I could start my crosses here and have both the strings coming through over here through this port on the long side. Or I could start my crosses here and have both of my crosses going through the port on the short side. Okay? If I started over here and I'm only stringing uh, eight cross strings this way and ten cross strings that way, the, str the string on the top has to be longer. I usually start in the center, so I'd start over here on the short side of my racket. By the way, let me just show you.